let's talk about fair division. And with fair division, we're going to talk about the sealed bids method. Now, the sealed bid bids method, it's actually very difficult to say, is used for discreetly divisible items among two or more people. So now we're talking about discreetly divisible items. Think about a house, a boat, a car, a lamp, anything that if you chop it in half is no longer usable. All right, those are basically discreetly divisible items. So the process of this, each person involved in this places a secret bid on each item. Basically, what is that that item valued to them? So if it's a boat, maybe it's 12,000 or 20,000 or a lamp, maybe it's two bucks or $20, whatever. They put a bid on every item. After all the bids are collected, each person's bids are total and divided by the number of players to find out that person's fair share. And we're going to do an example, so don't worry. Each item is then awarded to the person who placed the highest bid on it. And you might be thinking, well, that's not exactly fair, but sure it is, because you're going to watch this out. Like, if you don't get the items, you're going to get something of equal-ish value. So each player's winnings are evaluated. If the total value that they place on what they received is higher than their estimated um, fair share, then they pay the difference into the shared pot. So let's say that this is me and I value things at like this whole pile at $100,000. And then I win things and it's $120,000 as the value of the things that I won. Then I have to put in um, $20,000 into the pot because my fair share was 100 and I received 120. So I'm gonna put $20,000 into the pot. Okay, that's kind of the idea. If what they receive is less than that, <clears throat> then they receive money from the pot. So same example, let's say my fair share is 100,000, but I only received 60,000. So I'm going to also receive $40,000 from the shared pot. And that is called the first allocation, is to make sure that people have their fair share. Then any money that's left in the pot afterwards is divided equally among all of the people in the group. And this is the second allocation. So let's look at an example. We have four sisters and we're dividing items left to them by their grandparents. The value of the items in thousands are noted below. So we've got four sisters, Cassie, Samantha, Brenda, and Belinda. And we're looking at a house, a boat, a truck, and a cabin. And so each person places a bid on each item of what they think it is valued to them. All right, because, you know, things are different for different people. So first thing we need to do is calculate each sister's fair share, what they deem a fair share, meaning we're going to add. So for Cassie, we add her four items together, divide by four, because there are four people, and we get the fair shares. So you can see these here. Cassie thinks her fair share is 83.75. That's $83,750. Samantha's would be 84,250. Brenda's is 75,000 because her values, right? She deemed them lower. And then Belinda's is 85,750. So that's what everybody believes to be their fair share based on the values they gave. All right, so now we go to the next step. We have these and who is awarded each item. So remember, the, uh, the person that gets the item is whoever bid the highest for it. And then we have to decide what's their fair share, how much are they receiving, do they get money from the pot or put money in? So first things first, the house and the boat both go to Samantha as the highest bidder. So if we add 210 to 25 and then subtract Samantha's fair share, the leftover is 150,750. She places that into the pot. Okay, because she uh, her fair share was 84,250. She received two items that were 150,000 more than that, right? So that's what goes into the pot. The truck goes to Belinda uh, for 18,000. Her fair share is 85,750. So when you take what Belinda received, 18, minus her fair share, you get a negative 67,750. So that means Belinda is going to receive $67,750 from the pot because that will make her now at her fair share level. The cabin goes to Cassie at 120,000. Subtract her fair share and you get 36.25. So Cassie is going to place $36,250 into the pot. Now that's the four items. And you'll notice Brenda didn't get any of them. 
So Brenda received nothing at valued at zero dollars, but her fair share is 75,000. Therefore, she will receive $75,000 from the pot because everybody receives their fair share. So when we look at the pot, Samantha put in 157.50, Belinda re uh, received 67.750. Cassie put in 36,250 and then Brenda uh, took out 75,000. So what's left is 44,250. We divide that by four on the second allocation and every sister will then get $11,062.50. And that would be fair division um, based off the sealed bids method. I think that's it. Yep. <laughs>